By far, one of the most interesting aspects of Ableton Live is that you can record your movements and your performances. Right now, we're looking at the session view. If I click this button on the top right, I get the arrange view. I can also access that under the view menu with checking either session or arrange. The arrange menu has buttons on the lower right that turn elements on and off. And it's self-explanatory. You can turn sends on and master fader, etc., etc. The tracks are resizable. So wherever I see the speaker and click once on the speaker, my eclipse will start. And then I have the standard magnifier, which I can drag, click to expand and contract. Let's go back to session view. And I'm going to activate this record button here. I'm going to move some clips, make some panning moves, and we're going to record directly into the arrange. So let's give it a try. Okay, so that was whatever, but let's go to the arrange view and behold, it's all recorded and we can edit it as to our heart's desire. Even these crazy moves, let's listen. That panning is not too crazy. I did get crazy here with some of this warping. Let's listen to that. See how it's all diced? Those loops are diced up now. All right, so keep in mind that everything within this arrangement view can be edited, it can be chopped up, the files can be exported individually, elements of it can be um, exported over to Logic. It's very, very musical. 